Hey everybody, Gaming at Old School here, bringing you another video. Um, I will answer the first question that everyone's been asking me. No, I'm not dead. Um, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, and I apologize for that. Um, I've been pretty busy, I'm sure like everybody has, um, but I recently got a second job, and then I'm in summer school right now, so just extremely busy, but I'm going to be a lot better. It's been a few months, and that's a long time so um, without further ado I do have a pickup video here for you um, I've been we're going on vacation in a little bit so I've been limited on what I can buy but there's a <coughs> a decent amount of stuff for a video so I'm excited to show that to you so uh, <coughs> let's get started first at a Goodwill I picked up another Wii Fit balance board um, this one actually has a rechargeable battery right here um, by Pelican, I think, and it just charges with a um, mini USB through the computer, and this was six ninety nine. So really good, can't pass it up. Sold one. Uh, well, you can buy the game for a buck at uh, GameStop, and I sold a board and uh, the game for thirty dollars at a yard sale. Um, you know, a couple months ago that we had. So very cool to get those. If I can snag them for under ten dollars, I usually do. So. Um, if it's ten dollars and I have two or three of them, I probably won't pick them up. But I mean, I think this makes three that I have now, so very awesome. Um, let's see. So the manager at the GameStop over by my house, uh, he's a pretty cool guy, and uh, you know we talk when, whenever I go in there and stuff. And he has my number, and we text each other and stuff. He actually collects original Xbox games, and he's going for a complete collection. He's doing awesome at it but he gave me a call and asked me what size t-shirt I wear so I didn't know what I was getting but next time I went in there he gave me this and it's uh was given to GameStop managers 30 up this is uh, 30th anniversary obviously and it's for the year of Luigi um he either didn't want it or just realized that I would love to have it so very cool very glad to get this neat shirt so all right so um, at Goodwill I picked this up this was I think $3.99 and they were in a pack but little uh, handheld games poker and blackjack I don't care about those but it did have electronic Yahtzee and I sold on these for about I think it was like $24 actually so um, I don't think that's what they're going for now but even if I can you know make 10 bucks on it then, you know, definitely worth it. I picked these up at a Goodwill. Um, this was a... Well, this one I got at a, a Goodwill. It was two ninety nine, Pitfall for the Super Nintendo. This one I picked up at a thrift store. It's just 3 bucks, but it's a Wavebird controller, battery pack. No receiver on this. Um, I've picked one of these up before without a receiver, and I've traded for a receiver, so planning on doing the same thing. Um, I'll have to switch out the joystick on it because um, it's missing the little bumper pad or whatever you call it, um, the cover. So I'll have to switch that out, but I'll always get these for, for $3. At the Goodwill, um, a different Goodwill, I picked this up for $2.99, DK Bongos, and I cleaned them up. There was like marker all over these. Um, I just used a, you know, a terry cloth, wet terry cloth. But very cool to have. I have two of these now. I do want to get four, but I've picked both of them up for two ninety nine. Um, probably not going to pay too much more than that. So glad to get that. Um, I picked these up what well, seems like forever ago, um, and Lithium Zero One Seven did a uh, a video on these, and they're actually pretty cool. I haven't put them up yet. I'm in the middle of switching rooms. Um, we're using my old game room as the new baby room, so I get this room. <laughs> and this is going to be the game room and the play room. So I'm going to have to get creative with how I'm going to hide my stuff from my kids. Um, it's going to be up, up high where they can't reach, so I'm not worried about that. But, um, I, you know, I want to display some of it, so I'm just going to have to see. But, like, we got this IKEA shelf, and I just put some stuff back there. So while I'm making the videos, you guys have something else to look at besides my pretty face. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna get an entertainment center, you know, off to the side. 
and most of it's going to be in there up top so um, you know it's going to be pretty cool and I'll definitely show show the room when it's all done and finished but it might be a, a little while closer to the end of the year um, let's see alright so I picked this up for two ninety nine, dollars and it's like spanking new but it's Operation C for the Game Boy really cool Two ninety nine can't beat that price, and they have Mario Kart DS um, for seven ninety nine, I think. So I'm probably just gonna sell that one. Um, I might have a, an empty case and manual for that, but not sure. And then I got this one for free um, because it was buy two get one free, and it's Link's Crossbow. Oops, Link's Crossbow Training. Um, there's Club Nintendo codes in there, so I'll definitely give that a shot. And see. You know they've been used or not but I've never played this excited to give it a go um, I do have the the zapper but glad to get this finally all right <clears throat> let's see I got some GameCube games here um, I got this from Goodwill and it was on half off day so uh, I got both of these on that day so they were uh, 250 they've been pricing them like five bucks or higher so Kind of sucks. I'm picky when it comes to what they are, but those were two fifty, so I'm fine with that. Uh, this was six ninety nine at Goodwill, and it's a complete copy of Super Mario Sunshine, and it's the not for resale version. So this is the one that was uh, bundled with the GameCube. So glad to get that. It's an awesome shape. Um, I'm not gonna keep it. I might keep it, but switch it out with mine. Um, I'm going to sell one. I don't know which one yet, but very cool to get that. And then on that same trip for another six ninety nine, I got Star Fox Adventures because I didn't have that yet. This is the uh, Kmart exclusive. Doesn't mean anything to me. Um, you got the the player's guide with it, but obviously I didn't get that. So um, cool to get that finally in the collection. <coughs> let's see. I picked this up from the store that I like. This was um, let's see. I think I paid four or five dollars for this and it's Casper for the GameCube and then this one I ended up getting for free from that same store it was Lord of the Rings the third age and it's a double disc game and uh, I put that memory card in there um, I picked it up also it was five dollars I think so I picked that up and uh, just threw it in there so really cool to get that I like seeing the double case double game case in case I come across like a Metal Gear Solid or you know one of the Wind Waker combination cases where I need you know it's not in the best shape I could switch it out so that one's actually a really good one to find for cheap um, I have one more let me see okay I have one more GameCube game that I got and I got it in a trade with two Nintendo 64 games and the GameCube game is uh, Eternal Darkness which I'm really glad to get um, it's in great shape. I traded a PS2 fat console for it. Um, great shape, complete. Glad to get that. And I also got Automobile Lamborghini and Milo's Astrolanes, which I needed both of those. So um, awesome to get those. I'm itching or etching away on the uh, Nintendo 64 collection. There's still quite a few titles that I need. So um, probably going to be making, you know some significant trades uh, in the future to get some of those games um, but I did get some in this pickup I got Mike Piazza Strike Zone that was $1.99 I got Indy Racing 2000 $1.99 uh, NHL Blades of Steel 99 for $1.99 uh, Virtual Chess that was $6 and I used store credit for that uh, Rat Attack 64, I got that, or just Rat Attack, sorry. I picked that up for $7 at a local local game store. And I also picked up Load Runner, um, I think it was 4. GT 64, I got that as well for 4. And then I found this for $8 at Bookman's, and I used credit to get it, so I'm definitely happy I got it, but it's a uh, Scooby-Doo classic uh, creep capers yeah I always 
forget the, the title mix up with the GameCube one. Classic Creep Capers. This is the gray variant. There is a uh, black variant, but I'm glad to get the gray. I will be getting the black eventually. This last Saturday, it was half off at Goodwill. Um, I showed you the two GameCube games that I got, but I also got a uh, PlayStation, and it's marked at $6.99, but I only paid like $3.50 for it, so uh, no cords or anything with it, but I figured for 3 bucks, you know, I could use it as trade or, you know, something else. So, very cool to get. Um, just a couple days ago, I was looking through Goodwill and picked up some, they had a ton of stuff, uh, N64 controllers for 5 bucks, but none that were in amazing shape or really the fantastic kind, so I didn't, you know, want to go for it, but, um, I was looking, they had like four Xboxes, but really it was just all junk, and so I was leaving, and I saw down the corner, I saw this, I saw a Wii, and I was like, oh my gosh, um, and I had the cords, and they wanted $20 for it, which is not a, I mean, I think it's a great price. It's not, you know, you won't get it for that at GameStop or anything, but, um, and you'd have a hard time trying to get that on Craigslist. But, uh, no controllers included, and I didn't notice until I got home, but no sensor bar. I'm okay with that. I have, you know, an extra, and I have a Wiimote, so it's no big deal. But it does work. Everything's, you know, perfect on it, except it's missing the, the cover for the GameCube ports. There was no virtual con games on this um, it, was, it was wiped so clean I think what happened was maybe someone got you know a Wii U and transferred all their data over to there and then just their mom donated it or they did or something but they forgot to take a game out of it and it was Mario Kart Wii so it works perfect not a scratch on the thing and uh, I've been playing that recently I like it a lot it's a fun game um, if you guys play it, you know, let me know, and uh, I'll add you as a friend, and, um, yeah, I mean, we'll race. And the last little bunch of games I got are uh, Wii games, and I got these, um, I'm going to see if I can remember. First, uh, Metroid Other M, I got this brand new at GameStop. Um, I picked up a used copy uh, for $3.99 but they didn't have any used, so he gave me a brand new one for $3.99. It's normally like five bucks, so it's not like, you know, I'd saved a ton of money, but um, I already have a sealed copy of it, so I got it to play, um, but pick that up. I'm gonna run through that when I get the chance. Um, same trip, I had to buy two, get one free on this trip, so I also got uh, Punch-Out for the Wii and Sin and Punishment, which, is a really fun game, actually. So check it out if you haven't had the chance yet. Um, all right, let's see what else. And I drove pretty far out of my way to, to get those because there was a game that I had looked for and I saw where it was, and I was going about halfway there, so I just figured, you know, go the extra the distance to, to pick this one up. It's a rare Wii game. Um, it's worth... I think 40 or 50 bucks, so it's not super, super expensive or anything, but it's amazingly hard to find. Um, it's called Walk It Out. It's got to be, like, the dumbest game ever. You walk to the rhythm of songs and, like, build a city. <laughs> it's so stupid. But um, it's complete, and it's one of the rare Wii games. Um, I know a lot of people aren't going for, you know, Wii games or anything, but even if I don't decide to keep it, I could trade it later down the road, so... Um, really cool to get that. Uh, I also picked up Monster Hunter 3 for the Wii. I haven't had a chance to play this, and I haven't played the Wii U or the 3DS, though I hear they're fantastic. And then, to date how long it's been since I've done a pickup video, a sealed copy of Pandora's Tower. <laughs> I got this the day it came out, and I haven't done a pickup video since then. So it's been forever. Um, yeah guys, but that's my pickup video. Uh, Thanks for watching the whole thing. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm going to be posting them more regularly. I just did a, you know, a mega trade with uh, the Video Game Shark, and I should be posting a video of that next week, so stay tuned, definitely. Um, and yeah, guys, I hope everything's uh, treating you well, and we'll talk to you later.